all the parts of the Blender user interface. Run Blender and click to get rid of the splash screen. There is a lot here on this screen, and the experts who write tutorials know the names of each part and assume you memorize those names. I'll show you a trick so you don't have to memorize most of those names. Across the top is the top bar, and it has a menu in it. It has a bunch of stuff in the middle that are called workspaces, and it has something called the scene and view layer uh, uh, options on the right. I'll talk about the workspaces later. I've mentioned the menu once before, and when I figure out what scene and view later mean, I'll let you know. But so far, I haven't needed them. Across the bottom is the uh, status bar, which I've mentioned before, and it's uh, very useful. It has uh, uh, help on what the, the, the mouse buttons do. Uh, it optionally can tell you how complex your model is, and it tells you what version of Blender you're running in case the splash screen uh, didn't remind you about that. All the other parts of the Blender screen are areas. They're always rectangular, and they are laid out bumping up against each other. And here is the trick so you don't have to remember their names. Wave your cursor. Don't click in the icon in the upper left-hand corner of each of the, uh, of the areas. This one says editor type, current editor type for this area, 3D viewport. Oh, I run over here to the one in the upper right. It says outliner. I run down to this one across the bottom. It says timeline. I look at uh, the last one over here on the right, and it says this is properties. You'll, you may hear people call this the properties panel. So now, if you want to ask somebody a question, like you're, you call up your friend who's a Blender expert and say, that, that box that, that has the, uh, the thingy in it, uh, the one that, that you use for materials, um, well, you can tell them, <laughs> you can... You can just look and say, in the properties panel, because I looked and it told me its name was properties. I can't figure out how to use something. It's nice to use the right words because then it's easier to get help. So now you don't have to memorize the names of all these areas. You can just look them up when you need them.